Mary's main difficulty is that her situation is unresolved. I mean, is she an heiress or isn't she? Before they or you get any ideas, I will choose my own wife. What on earth do you mean? Well, they're clearly going to push one of the daughters at me. I believe there's an answer which would secure your future and give you a position. You can't be serious. Just think about it. Marry a man who can barely hold his knife like a gentleman. <laughs> Our cousin Mary and I are destined to be close friends. Mary can be such a child. She thinks if you put a toy down, it'll still be sitting there when you want to play with it again. Haven't you heard? I don't have a heart. Everyone knows that. If you really like an argument, we should see more of each other. Shall I remind you of some of the choicest remarks you made about me when I arrived here? Well, Matthew, what am I always telling you? You must pay no attention to the things I say. He proposed to me. Have you given him an answer? Only that I'd think about it. Do you love me enough to spend your life with me? If you don't, then say no. If you do, then say yes. I want to... Unfortunately, sir, your daughter is more practical than you. I can't be sure. Of you, or of anything, it seems. Would you have stayed? If I'd accepted you? So I've ruined everything. Dear Lord, if I've ever done anything good, I beg you to keep him safe. If you still love him, let him know. And even if he's killed, and he may be, you won't be sorry. If you don't tell him, you could regret it all your life long. Matthew's missing. He's not dead. Not yet, anyway. Do you love Matthew? Yes, I think perhaps I do. I think I may have loved him for much longer than I knew. The cold and careful Lady Mary Crawley. Well, we know better now. That's if he's good to you. If he's not, he'll have me to answer to. Mary is still in love with you. What? But even if Matthew does break it off with her, why should he propose to me again? You know how sorry I am. Don't be. It wasn't anyone's fault. If it was, it was mine. When I saw you and Mary together, I thought, how fine, how right you look together. I believe she died with a broken heart because of that kiss. She thought we should cancel the wedding. But I belonged with you. I wanted to find out what you meant when you said you had to marry Carlyle, and that I'd despise you if I knew the reason. Do you stay with Carlyle because he's threatened to expose the story of Mr. Baruch dying in your bed? You were wrong about one thing. I never would. I never could despise you. You know, you don't have to marry anyone. You'll always have a home here as long as I'm alive. Would you stay? If I asked you to? Lady Mary Crawley. Will you do me the honor of becoming my wife?